Well, here we are, start of the search for a monster flathead. Back again. Check this thing out, brand new swim bait, just picked up. We're gonna fish some sand flats this morning. Again, craft, jointed claw, 178. Bit of bait flicking around. I'm freaking snagged on a sandbank. Only person in the world who can do that. Holy moly. Net the seaweed on it. Got it. Oh, now I'm stuck in the back one. Crisis averted. Yep, oh, big flooded. Woohoo! Yep, oh, he come out of nowhere. What is that? Is it a flooding? It is too, it's a monster. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a monster. It is huge. Oh. Oh my goodness! Oh! It's huge! Oh, let, let him run, let him run, let him run. I don't even think he's gonna fit in my net. Oh. It is a freaking monster. Wow. Oh. Let him run, let him run. Oh, it's huge! He just come up and smoked it. Wow. Absolute wow. I don't even know how to do this. Where's my controller? Wow, he's a monster. Oh, she, she, I should say she. That is massive. She's not gonna fit in the net. Oh, look at that. Wow, she freaking soaked me. Oh, wow, come on. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. Oh, she's, oh, wow. Come on, out you come. Up you come. She's not going to fit in the net. This is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, wow. wow, wow, wow. Wow, come on. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Oh no, not good at all. Not good at all. Ah oh, no. Yes! Oh, look at the size of this thing. Holy moly. Oh, that is a big, oh, I'm gonna quick, I'm gonna get get a photo of this and then get her back in. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh, wow. <sighs> oh. Come on, big girl. Come on, big girl. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, I need to get a measurement later. Got to get the hooks out. That is the biggest flathead I've ever seen in my life. Oh, 
was that? A little roll gun. Ah! Freaking bit me. Look at this thing. This is the exact freaking fish I caught. Saw the other day. Look at the size of this thing. Settle down. Settle. I can't even pick this thing up. Look at the size of that thing. Wowee. Oh my god. <sighs> Look at that. That is an absolute monster. An absolute monster. I'm going to get her back in. Oh, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Look at that size of that thing. Come up. Back in now. Hopefully got a good shot of her. That is awesome. Check that thing out. I reckon she's close to a meter. She's got it. Here we go. Here we go, big girl. Oh, she's just swimming off. There she goes, kicks away. Did you not see that? How big's that? That'd be in the 90s. Absolutely sure she's in the 90s. I don't know if she cracked the meter. Fattest, heaviest thing I've ever caught though. My heart is pumping like a... Oh man. Oh no. In the commotion of all that, I've lost my present my girlfriend gave to me. She's gonna kill me over the moon and that upset at the same time. I don't know whether to tell the camera, because if she watches the video, she'll kill me. Just go out and replace it without her knowing. That's the second present she's bought me that I've lost. I'm not good at this at all. I thought I kicked the lure overboard, and I thought, no, don't worry about it, it's only the lure. It was attached to the line, and then I've just thrown that fish back in, and I've gone, oh, where's my Gerber? My Buckley's chance of finding it. I am that devastated right now. I'm just going to float over this a couple of times. I'm going to give fishing a bit of a miss for a little bit. See if I can see it. I always wondered whether the teeth are sharp in those big girls. And I'll tell you what, the bottom teeth, fine. Top teeth, freaking hurt. Any of you who are wondering how the mouth of a big flathead feels, that thing just absolutely smoked the lure. Absolutely smoked it. I was doing like the one and the one and then it, I think I paused it and it just went quack. Might ring Rodney. He's in the know with Gerber. He can get me a new set. Rodney's not picking up. Come on Rodney, you're letting me down. I thought it was the lure because the line was hanging in the water and I've gone, oh no, it's just the lure. She'll be right. Would have jumped straight in if I'd known it was the pliers. Fish of a lifetime dampened. She bought me a pair of sunnies for Christmas. I lost them, had to replace them. Now she's bought me pliers. I lost them as well. Don't buy me presents anymore. Yes! Woohoo, I found them. Gotta go for a swim now. Oh, yes. It's turning up Timbo today. Just put the old electric on spot lock. Not only did we get the fish this morning, got my pliers back. There they are, so happy. Ali's not gonna kill me anymore. Thank God. I'm gonna give him a good oil when I get home. Oh, thank God for that. Well, if you wanna know what a big flatty does to bass gear, there's the back hook, there's the front hook. Smashed. Leader's all right though. Had him hooked in the top of the head. Wow. That there arrived literally two days ago in the mail, I ordered it off eBay. Fell in love with the colors for jacks and flatties and maybe a, maybe a barra. It is now going to be hanging on my wall. It's unbelievable. That is the Gancraft Jointed Claw 178. Just fell in love with those colors and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get it. $72 it cost me, worth every penny. Let's get back into some fishing. I'm just gonna continue fishing with the bent. Bend uh, hooks because I don't have nothing else. 
should have seen it. I didn't know what it was. It hit it like a freight train. Then boom, big Susie's popping up everywhere. I thought it was a big barracuda. I had no idea. Did not know flatties go that hard. Oh, now I'm freezing. Just had to swim to get my pliers back. Turning up Timbo today. No longer an amateur fisherman. Feels good. Finally ticked off a monster fish. This is where I got it. That is less than, what would you say? That's less than half a meter of water. That big girl's just lying. And I'd say, I'd say it's probably about 50 centimeters deep. Maybe even shallower than this. Could have followed it or it hit it really early on in the cast. I cannot believe that. In half a meter of water, that big girl's line come up and smoked it. Back on the board, brand new batteries. There we go, that's charging. Sun's out, gun's out. Just gonna fish this next two hours or so on the top of the tide, first of the run out. I actually got that on the last of the run in. Thought it would be already headed out by now, but she's still pushing in quite strongly. Pose to do your research. I was out here the other day looking around, finding the finding the spots where they lie. That's so cool watching the glide bay just go side to side. All I've been doing is you do like a the little half half turns to get it to move as far side to side as possible. So you just go half, half. I'm really shallow at the moment so I'm trying to keep my rod tip up but just half turns and it just glides from side to side so all you have to do my mate Brendan got me onto these he, he's bought a heap of swim boats and he said by far his favorite was the Gancraft and we went out the other day and he showed me and I thought yeah it's got a good action now I'm super impressed with it just up here he got drops off into a bit of a deeper hole Can't believe I caught a fish that big. It's my, now my second biggest fish. I haven't measured it yet, but I'm, I'd say that is my second biggest fish. You don't come across monsters like that often. They are absolute giants. And the scary thing is they get bigger. Well, the search for a monster flathead didn't take long this year, did it? This boat's unbelievable. Look at it. We're in a foot of water, gets you right into the shallows. Oh, there's one following it, there's one following it. Oh, he's following it, he's following it. He stopped, where did he go? Where did he go, where did he go? Oh, he was following that for ages. Wasn't a big one, like 50 or something like that. But it's still really cool. The water is so clear at the moment. I'll try and get another one in there, see if I can tempt him out again. He just, he just stopped when it got into that When it got to that stage where um, the glare was on the water. I'm trying to see where he went. He just stopped, he, he followed it all the way out from the bank and then he stopped in the glare just here somewhere. Unbelievable, this glide bait fishing for flathead. It is so addictive. You might have seen the boat, it's a clear day. When you're fishing for these, you also check underneath your boat and if you see, this is what I was doing the other day. If you see any big flathead lies, mark it on your sounder so you know where they're sitting, you know where they're bunching up, and you can always pepper the spot next time. It's exactly what I did. Found out where it was roughly sitting. And I thought I'm gonna pepper that spot off. I can't believe the tide's still pushing in. Willy weather, another successful day predicting the tides.